fun's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tick and Go. And now, here's our host, Jim Conwell. great studio audience to get us started today. Lots of energy. Well, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. At the end of our last show, we crowned a brand new champion. He hasn't had a chance to play the bonus game to see what kind of prizes he might pick up. Let's bring him out right now, Charlie. The Jim Howard current champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is a detective whose interests include writing and the theater. His winnings total in cash, $1,100. Meet Don Ben. Well done. There you are with a nice-looking pink and matching tie and kerchief. I like that. Thank you. Looking very smart. Tell us about your interest in theater. Well, I belong to a little theater group which produces audience involvement murder mysteries. There are about seven or eight actors. We work hotels. We work country clubs, bar mitzvahs. <laughs> and we do environmental theater. We mingle Explain with... Explain that. What does that mean? We mingle with the audience. Sooner or later, one of our characters is either killed or a mystery takes place. Our fictional detective comes in, and with the help of the audience, we solve the crime. You have done a lot of things, or you do a lot of things. You not only have been known to ride bulls and uh, bronc horses, you're involved as an actor. Not our, as an actor, as huh? a writer. As a writer. I tried acting. I found out I can't act. Oh, okay. Well, one of the mysteries here that you're, got, you're about ready to try to solve is to find out where that dragon is hiding. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on over. Let's play the bonus game. marks the spot here just turn this way sure and uh, i'll explain a couple things to you now behind these numbers are various amounts of money there's a tick there's a tack and the good old dragon mm -hmm. you want to get a tick and the tack or reach a thousand dollars or more don and here's what you'll win charlie tell them well don we have a trio of gifts for your kitchen made of three different metals first on you'll display with pride a gleaming set of copper cookware Select with a $300 gift certificate from JT's General Store. Select from fashions, housewares, and much more in the JT's General Store in-home shopping catalog. Then in your silverware drawer will be this set of fine silver. From Oneida Silversmiths, a beautiful assortment of gifts for all your entertaining and gift-giving needs, including your choice of luxurious stainless flatware and silver plated hollowware from Oneida. And finally, Don, here's a gift of sturdy steel worth more than $1,800, your brand new kitchen. From Gibson Kitchen Appliances featuring a frost clear refrigerator freezer with adjustable cantilever shelves, twin glide out crispers, and a total energy saving system, a portable dishwasher with three levels of washing action, an energy saver switch, and an electric range with high speed surface elements, electric clock timer, and self cleaning oven to make cooking a pleasure. All from Gibson, one of the white consolidated industries. This kitchen metals package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,500. And it's a good one. I can use a new kitchen. Can you? I Sure All right, you just got to beat the dragon. Okay. Now, remember one thing. Get the tick and attack, you'll get $1,000. That's the dough, automatically. You ready? I'm ready. All right, he's found a place to hide. Uh, how about you need some help from the audience? I'd like some. Come Anybody on. from Philadelphia? Yeah. All right. Okay. Where are you going to go first? I'd... Lady says eight. All right. I'm going to go with eight. All right, number eight it is. Let's find out. Let's take a look. 150. All right. This is a good start. That's right. What do you think now? All the way in the back, I see a two. All right, number two it is. Straight up to number two. Tick. All you need is a tack or 850. Just a tack. I see a one. I like one. He sees a one. Let's see what one does. He likes one. 100. One gets a 100. Okay. 250 now. He's asking. He's all again. Again. If it's not five, you're in trouble. <laughs> five. I'll try five. Number five. Right to center. 250. Okay. All right, you need 500 more or attack. You can stop right now, by the way, and take the cash. I'm going to go on. All right, going to keep going. Look at everybody. Everybody's everybody. on. Seven? Okay, seven. All right, number seven. Bottom left, 400. Getting closer. No enemy. You're going to win or lose on your next pick, so it's a critical moment. What do you think? Forget it. I'm going with three. I right, like he's three. He's going with number three. I like three. Take a look. Behind number three. You got it. Well, you just picked up $1,200, a terrific prize package. You're up to now in cash and prizes, $4,800. Okay. All right. That's a good start, huh? Sure is. 
Well, stand right here. Okay. We'll kind of discuss what the next step is, but first we'll take a break and come right back. Hey. All the wonderful weirdness comes to its dramatic conclusion. As Feet of the Dragon, he just said to me off camera, he says, well, let's see if I can do that four more times. Well, we'll see if you do, Don. It's time for you to meet your next challenger, Charlie. Who is she, please? Well, Jim, she's a public relations consultant and former member of a traveling carnival, me, Dorothy Reinhardt. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. A former member of a traveling carnival. Pray tell, how'd you get involved in a carnival? Oh, well, my folks were carnival people, and I just, it just kind of came natural to me. What I just grew up. <laughs> Interesting. What kind of stuff did you do? Well, I started life as a headless woman, and uh, then I did <laughs> the Electra, the electric girl stick. Then for a grand finale, I did, well... I hate to say this, half man, half woman act. I wasn't half man, half woman, but I was involved with it. Well, I'm always curious. You know, you see these things from afar, and you wonder how how realistic or how they're done. Can you explain a couple of those tricks to us? Well, the the headless woman is uh, done with mirrors, and the half uh, man, half woman is mostly cosmetics. And I'd just as soon not tell the secret of the electric girl. It's just make-believe. The carnivals are just another way of bringing a little make-believe into your life. Very interesting work, and it looks like you've had a good time. You have such a nice, bright smile. We have a very real game of tic-tac-toe we're about ready to get started with. Both of you, take a look at these nine categories for this game. Here they are. Take a letter, opponent's choice, astronomy, games, Asia, Top this, faces, three to win, and action films. Now, remember, those red boxes are special categories, and I'll describe them if they come up during the game. Now, Don is our brand new champion. Go ahead and start us off. I think I'll start with Asia, uh, action films in the bottom corner. I'm sorry I have to, uh, Asia was your first choice, Don. You're going to have to start there. That's okay. All right, two-part question. You'll have some extra time. Now, many words related to Japanese customs have become familiar to us. I'll describe two Japanese words. You tell me what they are. Number one, these hostesses are trained from childhood in music, dancing, and the art of conversation. And two, many Japanese women wear traditional loose robes of cotton or silk tied with a sash called an obi. Here's your extra time to think those answers over, Don. All right, Don, center box. Asia's the category. Now, many words related to Japanese customs have become familiar to us. I'll describe two Japanese words, and you tell me what they are. Number one, these hostesses are trained from childhood in music, dancing, and the art of conversation. What are they? They would be geisha girls. That's correct. All right. Part two. Many Japanese women wear traditional loose robes of cotton or silk tied with a sash called an obi. What are these traditional loose robes called? Kimonas. You have the center box. Woo. All right. Third next to the board, center box. $300 pot. You weren't sure if you wanted to take Asia, but it worked out for you, Don. All right, let's go ahead and shuffle. Dorothy. Oh, okay. Let's try faces in the lower right. All right, Dorothy, take a look at this picture. Now, this humorist has written several best-selling books, including The Grass is Always Greener Over the Septic Tank. <laughs> Name her. <laughs> Irma Bombeck. That's right. <laughs> The grass is always greener over the septic tank. I love that title. Well, we've got a $500 pot now with that additional O on the board. Time for us to uh, take a brief pause. We're coming right back. <laughs> Stop. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you're eating on these diets, you know. Sign up for Noom and lose the weight for good. Some of our party contestants will receive assorted beauty products from Corona, makers of the tankless water heater, supplies endless hot water without storage, three and a half by seven inches, fits anywhere, turns on and off automatically by water flow by Corona. And Juvel, taken as directed, can help reduce the frequency and severity of night leg cramps. Juvel, for leg ache relief and peaceful sleep. Plus, only Arac Solid has new aloe essence scent. Fights wetness, ordinary deodorant sticks can't. And mmm, the clean, fresh scent. New Arid Solid aloe essence scent. Once again, here's Jim. Thanks, Charlie. Well, we have 1X10 one on the board. Don and Dorothy are just into a brand new game. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Don, your turn. I'll go with faces up top. All right, top right-hand corner. Take a look at this picture, Don. 
Since 1970, this reverend has been a fixture on the Sunday morning religious program, Hour of Power. Name him. Humbart? No. Robert Schuler. Hmm. Can't give me the box, Don. Let's go ahead and shuffle with 500 in the pot. Turn it over to you, Dorothy. Okay. How about uh, uh, three to win? Three to win. Middle right. Special category, Dorothy. You both will be playing on this one. Now, listen carefully. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read questions to both of you. If you think you know the answer, hit your buzzer. Whoever correctly answers three questions first will win the box. Now, the subject of this three-to-one category is state nicknames. Now, all I'm going to do is give you the nickname, and you name the state. Now, put your hands on the buzzers, and here we go. The Last Frontier. Don? Nevada. No. Dorothy? Utah. Would you believe Alaska? <laughs> okay, next one. The Sunshine State. Don? Florida. That's correct. You have one. The Sooner State. Dorothy? Oklahoma. That's right. Okay, it's one to one. Lone Star State. Don? Texas. That's correct. All right, it's two to one. Don, one more correct answer. You'll have the box. Land of Lincoln. Don for the box. Illinois. You have it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting category. Way to go, Don. We'll put an X on the board now for $700 in the pot. Let's shuffle. <laughs> All right, Don. I will again go with three to win. We just played it. <laughs> well, I did okay the last time. Now, remember, you both will be playing. Now, you're going for the game, Don. This would be your third game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Dorothy, if you get this box, you'll have a successful block. Now remember, if you think you know the answer, hit your buzzers. And the first of you to get to three will have the box. The subject this time, Star Wars. The Star Wars movies. I see that your hands are on the buzzers. Here we go. Name the man who created and directed Star Wars. Don? Steven Spielberg. Dorothy. That's not correct. Dorothy? Uh... I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> George Lucas. Oh, All right, next question. Name one of the two robots who have co- Don? R2-D2. That's right, Don. You have one. Next question. Name the British actor who portrayed the mysterious knight Obi-Wan Kenobi. Dorothy? Alec Guinness. That's correct. All right, it's one to one in this three to win category. Name the mystical order of knights to which Obi- Don? The Jedi. That's correct. Obi-Wan Kenobi belonged to the order of knights. All right. Next question. You have two, Don, by the way. One more correct answer, and you'll win the game. Name the black hooded and black- Don for the game. Darth Vader. You have the game! Kind of rocking and rolling there. I had some trouble with that. It's a tough category. Let me finish that question, by the way. We're looking for the name of the black hooded and black robed character who's the villain of the Star Wars saga. And of course, Darth Vader is the correct answer. Don, horizontal tic tac toe. That's uh, $900 added to your previous winnings. And cash and prizes, Don, you're up to $5,700. Congratulations, Don. Well, once again, you're going to go up against the dragon, see if you can beat him one more time. But first, Dorothy Reinhardt. It's so nice meeting you. Uh, thank you. It was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> well, as someone who's worked in uh, a traveling carnival, you have a very interesting life, I'm sure, as a public relations person. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. We have some nice parting gifts. Uh -huh, thank nice you. Nice to play Tic-Tac-Doe. Thank you very much. Good luck. We're going to take a break and come back and watch Don try to beat the dragon after this. 80% of bacteria in your mouth aren't even on tea. 80 Welcome back. Well, Don, Ben, our champion, has defeated two opponents. Are you ready to take on the dragon? I am ready. Well, then, walk over here. Let's play the bonus game. Hey, you didn't walk. You ran. Hey, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> he's in a hurry. Well, so is the dragon. Look, you can just tell he's jumping around there. Take a look. He's trying to find a place to hide. But before he does that, we got to know what kind of prizes are at stake. Charlie, please inform the man. Well, Don, these restful gifts are designed to provide you with total relaxation. First, Don, when you get home, you'll put your feet up in this comfortable recliner. A recliner rocker chair from Lazy Boy Chair Company. Enjoy genuine Lazy Boy quality and comfort as you rock or recline. Relax, it's from Lazy Boy. Then, at night, you'll soon be fast asleep.
sleep thanks to this firm new mattress. Energize yourself on award-winning Metacoil by Therapeutic. The mattress leaving the world with patented anti-sag support and non-rip handles too. And finally, Doc, to truly guarantee you a restful environment, we've arranged a little getaway for you to the secluded Caribbean Isle of Bonaire. Located just off Venezuela's Caribbean coast, perfect weather, clear waters, colorful flamingos, a perfect vacation. You jet nonstop from Miami to Aruba on the warm hearted wings of ALM Antillian Airlines, the airline of the Dutch Caribbean from ALM Antillian Airlines, the delightful Flamingo Beach Hotel, a tropical oasis on the secluded desert island of Bonaire, where an undersea fairyland awaits. This restful package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,450. You already want to trip to Singapore, didn't you? No, that was the fellow a couple days ago. Oh, no, I'm he asked if I could go with him, though. Oh, really? Well, just don't get the dragon. Then okay. you got to beat the dragon, get the tick and the tack to get the dough automatically. Need some help from the audience? I'd like some. All right, he's found a place to hide. Come on. Okay. You're never alone here. So I'm going to start with number one. All right, number one it is. Top left-hand corner. 250. Okay. okay. Not bad. What's next? Number six. He yells six. out number six. Let's find out what's there. 100. Five. 650 to go. All the way in the back, I see a lot of twos. I'll go with two. <laughs> number two it is. And 400. You're up to 750. All you need is 250. 250. Let's go with number nine. All right, let's see if number nine gets you that trip to Bonaire. Let's see what's there. 300. You did it! I did it! <laughs> I just a quick addition to my head. He just popped right up to 1,050. Let's find out where that dragon was hiding. Take a look. There he was behind number three that time. Glad I didn't pick Hey, 1,050 added to that great prize package, including that trip to Bonaire. You're up to now, listen carefully, $10,200. <laughs> All right, it's time for you to meet your next opponent. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, take the walk back. He's going to put himself together and pull it all together, and let's find out who his next challenger is. Charlie? Well, Jim, he's a film archivist whose interests include photography and running the Ariel Nachman. Welcome to the show, Ariel. Hi, Jim. Yeah, tell us about being a film archivist. Well, I worked in a film library for the uh, old Los Angeles Olympic Committee, restoring thousands of millions of feet of old sports footage dating back to the early 1920s. There's got to be some terrific footage in there, huh? Oh, it's really incredible. We, what specifically were your duties, Ariel? Well, we cleaned and restored film, um, cataloged it, but mostly cleaning and restoration. That's the name of the game, huh? Well, you also, uh, thinking about it, I used to clean and restore old footage. Uh, I shine shoes. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, you don't believe that. I, well, it doesn't matter because it's let's get into the game. Here are the nine categories for this time around. Famous blondes, seesaw, ancient history, Disney, news of the 80s, take two, foreign words, trivia and air, and animal songs. Don, you're the champion with two wins under your belt. Start us off. I'm going to go down with animal songs. You're going down with animal songs, huh? All right. Here's the question. One of the biggest hit songs of the Depression was the tune, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf, which came from a Disney cartoon. Now, in the cartoon, the song was sung by these foolish animals. What type of animals? They were pigs. You are right. All right, animal song. Get to that. Let's shuffle the 200 in the box. Over to you, Ariel. I'll have to take foreign words in the middle. Well, you don't have to, but you can, Ariel. Here's the question. You'll have some extra time for this one. Take a look at this picture. Now, here are two colorful Spanish words. What do they mean in English? Here's your extra time to think it over. All right, Ariel. These are two colorful Spanish words. What do they mean in English? Can I do the second one first? Yes, you can. Anteater. No. Would you believe it's blue and yellow? <laughs> Not anteater. All right, let's go ahead and take a break with a $200 pot. We're coming right back after this. Welcome to Gino's Win, your wish hosted by celebrity chef Gino DeCampo. <laughs> 
it's the game show where the players choose the prizes. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing prizes. But they'll have to stay in the green to win their dream. Chimo keeps contestants on their toes. You need my balls to play. As they race to the finish. Chino's Win Your Wish List. New episode Wednesday at 8, only on Game TV. If you would like information on how to join us in the studio audience or how to be a contestant here on Tic Tac Doe, then drop us a postcard. Make sure it's a postcard. Drop it to Tic Tac Doe, Post Office Box 950, Los Angeles, California 90048. That's Tic Tac Doe, Post Office Box 950, Los Angeles, California 90048. Or call us at 213-277-6000. That's 213-277-6000. Well, like always, everything good has to come to an end, and we're just about out of time. Ariel, we're going to pick up next time where we left off. Great. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Keep on a roll here. Don, you've been sure. doing pretty good so far. I've you've, been lucky. You've beat the dragon two out of three times. Your odds are pretty good. And you're up to now, in cash and prizes, $10,200, which is terrific. We'll see if you can up that total next time. Wish you both the best of luck. Thank you. I'm Jim Caldwell. We'll see you on our next Tic Tac Go. It's plumbing. For hair clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. Father Flanagan, you've got dirty dentures. Heavens! I just soaked them. Brushing with denture cream gets dentures much cleaner. Denture cream is a miracle. Oh. How hearty and spicy our new plastic zesty dills? Just try one pickle, and you'll know. I'll take this one. Tic Tac Go is a Jack Barry and David Wright production.